So I was just enjoying sleepy time, and it's here. The new Forbidden and Limited ban list. TCG side will update in a little bit, don't worry. This is on the UK website, and we will be following this, so don't go freaking out. So, oh, the next list will update no sooner than January or June 1st, 2019. All right, live reaction. I am just dead exhausted right now, so I don't see anything too crazy here. Oh, look! Summon Sorceress Band. Well, okay, so we've known for a little while that this was going to happen, and I'm going to be honest with you guys. Uh, I'm surprised that this didn't happen sooner. Uh, if you're an Orcus player, um, this is the only real thing that we could do to you outside of taking care of the Orcus engine now. Now, life's going to be a little bit more difficult. You're going to have to kind of make more potent plays and things like that. So, okay, we, we saw that this was going to happen. I'm fine with this. No real change here. So there's that. Um, ooh, look, Dark Matter Dragon got banned. <laughs> oh man, we we've been exploring Dark Matter FTK now with Gandora for the longest time this week. Like the secret just got out about the deck, um, and then we literally saw that. Oh shit! Like this is a thing. Well, here we are. Dark Matter didn't even survive like two days in the TCG at this point, and we already had to put a nail in the coffin and just take down the deck. So, hey, I'm cool with this. This is one less thing that we need to deal with in the community now for the game. So, yeah, okay, step in the right direction here. I'm perfectly fine with this. this <laughs> didn't I make a video last week just saying that, hey, wouldn't it be a shame if we banned Dark Matter Dragon? And everybody's like... Oh, but you don't know what you're talking about. We wouldn't ban Dark Matter Dragon. Plus one for me. Not saying that I'm a smug little anime grill, but yeah, that's that's the thing. Um, is that it? I don't know. Hey, hey, look, Rank of Magic Quick Launch. We can't. This was like a fifty-fifty. Um, I personally think that we should have went after um, Rusty and just taking care of Rusty, but now it's going to end up on double fog blade now for Rusty. So that's fine, but we can no longer make Asselot on our opponent's turn. Um, that's been, it's been really broken since we've had it, this format. Every deck has basically had a means to straight up abuse this all format. So yeah, it, it stinks that we're taking something so generically away from all these decks that have been trying to play it. And I know, genericness is, it, it's it's kind of a flip of the coin depending on how you want to approach things, but this is something that was pretty much needed for the most part. So, I mean, three bands, uh, not too damn bad here. Um, what else we got going on down here? 2-1. Um, um, do, do, do. Ooh. Hmm. All right, cool. We're, we're just putting Lady Debug to one. Um, I don't know how I feel about this. Um, this might be a little bit more of a crazy hit. Um, I understand that we had to go after Solid in some way, shape, or form. Um, considering for pretty much the whole format, um, we've been doing some crazy... Hey, wow, there's more down here. All right. So, the, we've been doing... Or we've been seeing a lot of Solid. And we've noticed that Stratos-esque effects in the game are... are they're really bad. So, yes, I do think that this was something we needed to do. We needed to do something to Solid. Uh, it just means now that you get more plays with Flame Buffalo Arrow, because it's going to be a very, very, very easy fix here um, to literally just drop out some stuff and just play more Buffalo Arrow. Um, I also talked about Phantom Sky Blaster needing to be limited in some point. Mass token generation is bad in decks. And we have definitely seen this to be the case especially with sky blaster being legal um just quick easy free link summoning is inherently bad for the game um and this is just stuff that we've needed to clean up for the longest time so yes once again very good call here um having sky blaster survive in this era for as long as he actually did really fucking shocked me um i don't know why he was so scot free for so long um, but we definitely did see that just this with another monster on the board made two free tokens and you were able just to make free link monsters. Like, I, I don't get how that was ever fair in the game, but okay, I'm, 
I'm okay with this also. Like we, these are things that we saw coming. Um, all right, there's my sky striker hit. I was waiting for this. So, Kagari to one. Um, assuming that anything else. Okay, cool. Well, the only hit we've done to sky striker so far on this list was Kagari to one. So in the OCG, Kagari to one doesn't necessarily kill the deck. At this, we still have triple Widowmaker. Uh, we still literally have triple copies of Engage. Um, the only real thing that you've done is you've taken away the mass generation engine that we could probably recur. Um, I also think at this point, um, multi roll is still an issue. And a lot of people are going. I there's going to be a lot of complaints about the deck still. Um, I think we've checked the deck a little bit more now. Um, I think that this was a very fair hit. Um, if we haven't heard anything else, um, this might be enough. They're definitely trying to keep Sky Striker alive in the format on these lists, um, which, I mean, is pretty straightforward. Uh, Electromite's still at one. Well, fuck. Didn't see that coming. All right, so next up we have Super Poly to two. Oh, boy. So, congratulations, Subterra. You get another crazy ass toy um, and this this goes for all of the crazy fun decks coming around the corner at this point you you literally get <sighs> super poly is a <sighs> card's gonna be so dumb at two like I understand it's a neg one on activation but if you target two cards in the opponent's field you get access to starving venom you have to dedicate things to a specific extra deck um, I mean, if you're already playing weird things, like, I, I don't think there's anything too crazy to not see this card at 2. Um, will we ever see this card at 3? Maybe in the future, but two is the right step in the right direction. We're definitely more OCG-based now on this. And then we're also moving Miscellaneous Sarasaurus to 3. Hmm. So... Man... We didn't get Danglong off of this list, but we have three miscellaneous Sarasaurus now. So we get the ability to special summon more dinosaurs from the deck, which, I mean, okay, I don't, I, I'm not too angry about this. Um, I, it was only really ever an issue when I could make Danglong, but I guess now I can make Maiko coming into Dark Neostorm. So I guess that's a bit of an annoyance. Um, in and of itself, I mean, outside of that, like, I, this doesn't really, it just makes it so Widow Anchor, it just isn't as effective against them. So, that's, that's one step in the right direction. So, that's it. We got, what, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight changes on this list? This was, this was pretty passive. Um, we knew that Rank Up Magic was going to get cleaned up. Um, in the back of our minds, we also... We had a feeling that Summon Sorceress was going to get cleaned up. I, I know a lot of people are mad about that. Ha <laughs> ha! Dark Matter Dragon doesn't matter anymore. He's dead. We did it. The era of BS is done long before it even took off. Which is crazy. Yeah, rank up is whatever. Um, Lady Debug, that... Man... That's that's still weird to me. That that was where we went with. But hey, like I said, solid players, your deck is intact for the format. Sucks that you lost Lady Debug. You know, like I wouldn't be too mad at this point. Like I said, you just you put in some flame buffalo arrows. You know, life's not gonna be too bad for you guys. Like this was just <laughs> this was what we did, alright? So we we put Sky Striker and we put Lady Debug or Salamangre in the same room. We saw, all right, Kagari, Lady Debug, something's got to happen to you guys. I don't care what, you guys fight it out, and this is this is how it happened. So, <laughs> absolutely fine. Um, Phantom Sky Blaster, still whatever. Like Kagari, still whatever. Um, Super Poly is, I think, the most exciting thing on this list to me, just because like maybe I'll eventually get onto this sub terror kick that I was supposed to be on at this point, and I just ended up building stun. Um, I mean, Necros still gonna be there. We're still gonna see solid, both viable decks. We're gonna see Sky Striker still being viable decks. Uh, Pot of Avarice is probably or Pot of Desires is probably gonna come see play now, but. Hmm. 
this is interesting. I like this. We we definitely are going to be in the same format, but some BS is going up. So, guys, what do you think? Please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. And, well, guys, I'm out. The ride never, well, truly ends. Thank you, patrons. Without you guys, I don't know what I'd be wearing in these videos. I might be a truffle shuffle and all over again. Guys, please also check out Vancole 40 for some awesome Vanger content. Some other interesting stuff you might find up here on the left or in the description as well. Thanks for watching.